The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. another dimension, a dimension not only of film and television, but of comedy. You are moving into a land of both games and DVD releases. You just crossed over into the media zone. The media zone. Ed, there's there's words at the beginning of the show. At the <laughs> intro, there's actual speaking. That was supposed to be there months ago. Well, what happened? When uh, it's on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know we on. had a lot of other technical problems, right. but. Uh, all right, so why is there now voices at the beginning? There was originally supposed to be a, uh, a sound alike. But we couldn't find one, a Rod Serling sound alike. Oh. Okay. So I did my best with a little modulation on the, the well, voice. It so, sounds well, close. I think the producer's drunk. We're moving like crazy over there. <laughs> so you did your best with your modulation? Yeah, so it sounded pretty good. We were going to get Krista Lee, but uh, I don't think she has access to any radio equipment anymore. Oh, that's so. unfortunate. Yeah, we're going to get Crystal Lee on here to find out about uh, what happened. What happened at the radio station? Why? Oh, why is she unemployed? She's gone. Rick Mitchell is gone. Rick well, Mitchell didn't he land a gig on another channel though? Did he? I think he did. He was I'm on not sure. B ninety five. I thought he landed another gig somewhere because you can't keep Rick Mitchell down. Oh no, he was good. Oh. I don't listen to any regular radio broadcasts anymore because I listen to Rick Mitchell about. Quarter after five on the way to work, he would do the entertainment report. Quarter after five? After eight, excuse me. I was going to say, what time are you going to work? <laughs> it's way too early. And, um, and then Crystal Lee was on doing the rock news. And I heard all that excitement on the way to work, and now there's nothing. Oh. Which is good because you know what August is. Here we are, August, right in the middle of August, Dave. Mm -hmm. It's Huge a Thon. Huge a Thon. Huge a Thon 2010. <laughs> what was that? I heard that on the way. <laughs> oh, Dinky Donkey. They're give, these Dinky Donkey dealers giving away other stuff. We're giving away a real crappy looking house in Florida <laughs> with, a, with a Kia in the middle of the driveway. It's probably <laughs> the size of a Kia. Did you see the house they're giving away? I did away? not see the house. Uh, it doesn't look like one of Florida's best. Yeah. <laughs> the first tornado that comes oh. through there is it's flattened down. Come on, Tom. Tom, you gotta do your best, Tom. You gotta be Caroline. She's doing the Kia, Tom. I think she's doing the Kia. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's doing what. But. Yeah. Didn't he first start out the Hugeton mm. 2000? It's been 10 years of this guy? Yeah. Hugeton 2000. Now it's 2010. He's still around. Still Lasting around. longer than Ken Goey and, and, oh. and Mark, Mark Smith, <laughs> who's the number one dealer from <laughs> Albany to Montreal and saving you money. Oh. Got us there. Boy, that advertising worked. Whoever wrote that one. I know, because I still oh. remember it. But anyway, so yeah, the huge thon. Isn't my dad his number one? He's still here or somewhere. Terry Morris, that's yeah. true. Yeah, he's still around. Mm -hmm. But he only has like one or two dealerships. Mm -hmm. This guy, uh, Billy Fusillo, is, he's all over the place. He is. And on the way in here today, uh -oh. <laughs> Dave, oh, it yes. was very late. It was mm -hmm. uh, 7 o'clock. It was about six members of the, yes. or the uh, team out there in their blue shirts yes. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for somebody, anybody to come in there. It's, it's worse because you have the... Hyundai on one side yes. of the road, and slightly up the road mm -hmm. to the left is the Kia, right across the street from each other. You saw the Hyundai. Yeah. I saw, and I, I kid you not, 11 guys in red shirts oh. hovering around like leeches by the doorway waiting for a car to come in so they can jump in front of it like a deer trying to steer you over here to help buy you a Kia. Mm -hmm. Buy you a Kia? Before the month is over, Dave, mm -hmm. and providing one of our cameras work. <laughs> <laughs> That's questionable. We have to drive into <laughs> to the 
<laughs> you Javons. <laughs> we pick the blue shirts or the red shirts, whatever looks better on camera. Okay. And we'll drive in there. We'll hide the camera in the back and we'll see what happens. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> We could do that. These guys, yeah. these guys are. I, they, they must be just. They're waiting. They're waiting, and they're just lying in wait. They're like a. They're like a, a cheetah waiting to pounce, mm -hmm. coming out. Or a cougar. Or whatever it is. I don't watch enough Animal Planet. Cougars oh. are down the street at the nudie bar. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm all for that. All right, Dave. We got a four films tonight, That's right. and we're gonna look at all of them because we better get uh, rolling here, Ed. A lot to do, and we're going to try and get in Alice Cooper. You went to that show. Did go to that Alice Cooper concert at Proctor's, and we had uh, first row seats at, at the balcony. Oh, up so on we top. Were up on top, so we had no obscured uh, vision, no obscure, obscured view from people jumping up in front of me, standing there. Yeah, that's uh, a good idea. Whatever. Everyone down below stands up. Mm -hmm. But up on the balcony, we're all subdued. And Nobody just, was standing up? Nobody there? stood up. We just sat there and enjoyed the concert. And what oh boy, great seats at that fabulous, <laughs> fabulous Proctor's Theater. God, you love that Proctor's Theater. Yes. We're going to say that now because, <laughs> what was that? You got to say we love it now. Somebody from Proctor's is watching. That's my sincere look. Is, gonna come, is that what that is? That's what that is. I did. I, I love the seats. I love the, the, the Proctor's. You, it's a good It's good venue. Yeah, it that really is, is probably a good spot on top. How far over the bottom crowd is the top bleachers? How many <laughs> rows of seats? Unbelievably, Ed, I did not count. You didn't count? I did not. <laughs> Is it know. like halfway it's over probably, the... Uh... It's probably about halfway, maybe yeah. slightly less than that, but it's still, it's a great view. Uh, like I said, no one in front of you, and you're, you look, you're fairly close. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very nice place to see a concert with people getting hung and heads chopped off <laughs> and lethal injections oh my. and an Iron Maiden. Oh... I was going to bring down in the... They had a full-page ad in the Metroland of the Alice mm -hmm. Cooper... Mm -hmm. I did show. see that. What was it? The f Four Deaths of Alice Cooper yes. or something? Was the the name of the, uh, this was the Theater of Death. The Theater of Death. They keep killing him and he keeps coming back. Not to be confused with the Vincent Price film from the early 70s. Doctor, no. The Theater, Theater of, of, is it the same thing? I think it's the Theater of Death where he was killing off his critics. Yes. <laughs> Robert Morley. <laughs> Robert who Morley was fed his beloved poodles that uh, oh, he cooked. Geez. Yeah, boy. And he stuffed him hmm. down his throat. But yeah, we have four films I have today. to dig that out. I want to watch Theater of I do Blood like now. Dr. Fives. Yes. Mm, very good. What's our first film tonight? We got four. I believe it's Lottery Ticket, Ed. Oh, that's me. It's you. Go, go, Ed, go! Starring Bow Wow, Ice Cube, Keith <laughs> David, and Bill Bellamy. Kevin Carson, a young man living in the projects, wins $370 million in a nationwide lottery. Kevin must survive their greedy and sometimes even threatening actions over a three-day holiday weekend before he can claim his prize. Rated PG-13 for sexual content, language including a drug reference, some violence, and brief underage drinking. I just need to go down there and turn the ticket in. It's closed. Closed! For the 4th of July. That's three whole days. We're the only ones that know about the ticket. What can go wrong? I know your mama. What is all of this? Now. Kevin. Yo, he's coming. Who's coming? Jesus. No, not Jesus. Lorenzo, man. He's out of jail. It's every man for himself. Can you protect yourself at all times? Yeah. What you got? Come on. Get your left foot. And they all want a piece. Just relax and let me do all the work. Ah. Protect yourself at all times. Kevin, this is my ex-wife. Built like a sack of laundry. This is the wife that God want me to have. This summer, you might just discover... If you won the lottery, what would you do? Give people something to live for instead of just living. We won, baby! What really counts. Bow Wow, Brandon T. Jackson, Naturi Naughton, Keith David, Charlie Murphy. Let's go to the strip club, make it real! Benga Akanabe, Terry Crews, Mike Epps, Bill Bellamy, T-Pain, Loretta Devine, and Ice Cube. What's that, young blood? Somebody read him a bedtime story. Lottery Ticket, Summer 2010. Oh, that's a good cast, Dave. It is. It's an all-star cast. 